Alright guys, it's still Jamie here at Afro Future Day 2 Summertime here and look who I found! It's been so amazing! See him over and over and over again from Global Citizens to Black Starlight Festival to meeting him at Sirius XM in New York and now meeting him again here at Afro Future. It's amazing, it's a blessing. Three times in Ghana. First time here, how does it feel now? No, it feels so great to even walk into you right now. I think it's all divine purpose. This is one thing the world needs to know, you know, irrespective of what we know. There are things that are happening that we don't know, that are still happening. So for us to meet up over here the first time, three times in Ghana, trust me, that means that we are ordained, we are blessed to send the message of God mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You told me that I have to be everywhere to be everywhere. Of course. I'm Again, saying. you're doing just that. <laughs> yes, you gotta be. You want to be everywhere? Then you gotta be everywhere to be everywhere. So we're here putting in the work. We just went on um, Sway's show. Amazing conversation, highlighted the whole of Ghana. You know, Africa is a continent, a beautiful continent. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's a duty for each and every one of us to speak about where we're from to contribute that quota to the rest of the, you know, the bigger pie. So I did justice to that, and I'm happy that I'm be doing a few shows out here as well to introduce, you know, our art, our craft to the majority over this side. You know what I'm saying? So the work doesn't stop. See? Well, guys, <laughs> all in Ghana. Yeah. Your man is here. Uh -huh. and I, I, I caught that accent. All in Ghana, your man is here. <laughs> yeah, that's the Ghana side that you took from Ghana, right? Yes. Of course. Now, it's so good seeing you. How has it been that you were able to do your whole concert, which I'm very proud of you, and yeah. you've been able to take Ghana by the reins and make it proud? I mean, um, like you met me in New York and I was on the, on the journey. Yes. You know, promoting the album and talking to people about Ghana and the whole vibration and the musical you know, contribution that Africa has always and is always contributing to the world. And of course, I had to come back home after releasing the album to do the major homecoming. And it was a sold out, over sold out 40,000 stadium capacity. I mean, to just make sure everything is well wrapped back home. And that, that happened a week, a week ago. Wow. And it's already a week, like yes. time flies. And we're here day two of um, Afro Future. You know, Afro Future, I am the only artist that has headlined Afro Future four years in a row. Wow! Only. Hey. So, so this year I'll be like, <laughs> and I'm saying, let me just come support. Me, my tree is bad, yeah. but I'm going to of try. Course. Why are there? Why are there? I'm going to ask you. Thank you, thank you. And honestly, the the villain of what you told me, you got to be everywhere to be everywhere. That's it's it. what you're doing for yourself <laughs> all oh, the way. You always remember what I said. Yes. Like, you got. Come on, you have to be everywhere to be everywhere. everywhere. You can't be online and think you're everywhere. <laughs> that's that's virtual. You have yes. to be there. So you're here again, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Bless you so much. Thank Continue you. promoting Africa to the world. I will. Of course, and then the world to Africa. Yes. But the world needs to learn a lot from Africa more than Africa needs to learn from the world anyway. Amen. So keep pushing it that way. Yes. Don't know. Bless. You heard these amazing words from Mr. Stoneboy. Don't stop watching. Stay tuned. Until next time on Summertime. Bless. And I want to say that you are everywhere, and I'm proud of you. I gotta be everywhere to be everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Hi, and I'm hey, just hey, so hey. honored to Who be. this up for my angel. <laughs> What's good? I'm just so honored to be able to interview Me you. Too. So, what discipline did you learn in order to be where you are today? The discipline I learned to be where I am is actually called discipline. You have to be disciplined, you have to be focused, you don't have to make excuses. Because my father would cane me even if I said I didn't have towels in the shower. Exactly when I thought it was. I remember this like yesterday. He would say, yo, I heard you in the bathroom. Do you have the towel with you? I didn't look. I said, yes. He came check, no towels. I got whoopings in the bath. That might be too harsh, but that's how I grew up. So I'm disciplined. You know what I mean? Take your time seriously. No excuses. You have to learn. You have to always work ahead of time. That's what brought me here. Viewers, <laughs> listen to that. That is some advice that will get you far. Mm -hmm. So, did you always want to be who you are today when you was a kid? When I was a kid, I, I think I would always wanted to be somebody who represented for people. You know, either... But my dream was to be an officer, a military officer. You know what I mean? And then it turned out to be the people's officer. Singing music for them and telling them what is it. You know, 
And that's a pretty good way how to get people interested. <laughs> exactly. So that's all it was about for me, leading the people, you know, as a servant of the people, speaking out and standing firm, Gidigba, as a title of my new song. See? <laughs> for you people, listen to him. He has encouraging words and really good advice. So keep on listening. He's dropping gems on you. All right. Yo, Thank kids, you. Arena. Don't log off, log in. Make sure you tune in every time and watch the Empress, the Princess, inspire the youth of our generation. You don't know. 